up, fuckers? God, do I have a movie for you! So, uh, what's it about, Chris? Huh? Oh, yeah. So, um, have you guys ever heard of dreams, by any chance? Yeah, of course you know what dreams are. Okay, 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 okay. Um, now, what if, what if other people could go inside of your dreams? And, 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 what if they could not only physically manifest, but steal your most hidden secrets and ideas? Oh, yeah, that, that sounds interesting. So these same guys, they want to put an idea inside of you. But to do so, they have to go within a dream, within a dream, within another dream. Well, oh, this just keeps getting better. Okay, so the main character's wife is, like, dead or whatever. And uh, he's been able to make a memory of her so vivid that he can basically keep her alive in his dreams. So he's just dreaming all the time and shit, which just keeps his dream memory dead wife, like, conscious or alive or something. I don't know. But she's affecting this guy's dream world and, you know, killing people and shit. Wait, so the other people in these dreams are, like, conscious beings? No, no, just his memory dead wife. The rest are, um, projections. Projections. That's correct, yes. Okay, so there is more. So the only way that they can be this many dream layers deep, you have to be so heavily sedated that the only way that you can wake up is you have that like falling sensation that always jerks you awake. Well, doesn't that falling sensation only happen when you're not all the way asleep? It doesn't really make sense if they're that heavily sedated. I, 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 just, just, just let me have this one, okay? I want to crash a van off a bridge. Okay, so what happens if someone dies in the dream? Great, great question. Well, if you die in a dream, you just wake up. Seems pretty convenient. That lowers the stakes, doesn't it? No, no, because when they get to the end and, you know, they're three levels deep, that sedation makes it so dying doesn't wake you up anymore. Wait, so let me get this right. The whole movie establishes that if you die, you wake up. Mm -hmm. But at the climax of the movie, that rule doesn't really apply anymore. Right. Again, that seems pretty convenient, don't you think? Huh. Yeah, I guess I never thought about that. Okay, well, how do the people know whether they're in a dream or a reality? Totems. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all have this thing that's like super unique and personal to them that nobody else has ever seen it knows what it is. Except the one guy showed his to the girl he was trying to fuck and the main guy showed his to her too. Anyway, I, it's, it's so unique and special to that person that nobody else could ever recreate it in a dream Therefore, telling them whether they're in a dream or not. So if the dreamer can't recreate it, then the person in the dream doesn't have their totem. Well, well, no. No, they, they, can, they can have it in a dream, too. Well, you just said... <laughs> Jeez Louise, guys! What is with all the questions? How does it end? Ah, okay, so that's... This is the best part. So, um, um, the whole, you know, last ten minutes or so of the movie alludes to the fact that everybody made it safely back to reality, including the main character. Sets up for this really beautiful, happy ending. You remember those totems? So the main character, his totem's a spinning top. It doesn't, um, it doesn't, 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 it, do it doesn't fall over if he's in a dream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him home and he's gonna spin the top and we're gonna fade to black before it falls over. Wait, so you mean to tell me he's still in a dream? We don't know! And I'm gonna make it wobble a few times too so people think it might fall over, you know, just to tease them. But didn't you say everything about the last scene said they were back in reality? Suspense.